hi everyone welcome back to my channel Khaja cooks I hope you are all doing okay and today I will be making for you a chocolate chip cookies so I'm gonna start with my butter this is a hundred and fifteen grams of softened butter I put in my bowl okay And this is half a cup of granulated sugar, normal white sugar, half a cup goes in there. And half a cup of three acres sugar. Okay. You can use brown sugar if you don't have this. And you just mix it through. Before I throw in the egg, I'm just going to switch on my oven to 180 degrees. It's not too neat, one tier, not too neat. There we go. Just mix this a little bit. Come on with my spatula. Okay. Now one egg, this one side, okay, Can you see? Use the mixer and um, mixer to just get this incorporated well. Okay, now here is a quarter teaspoon of salt. And this is half a teaspoon of baking soda. Just get that out of there. A teaspoon of vanilla. Just give that a light mix. Okay. And this is one and a quarter cups of cake flour. Mix that through. And now for the yumminess, the chocolate chips. So yeah, I've got a half a cup of sweetened, this is sweet chocolate um, chips, ne? this is the sweet one. And yeah, I've got a dark chocolate that I'm also just going to break up. And get a little bit of the sweetness and the, the dark chocolate and have that contrast it's absolutely delicious guys winter is coming here in Cape Town it's overcast and I thought huh, let me just make some of these so when the kids come from school, there will be something yummy waiting for them. I wonder if I must throw in the whole slab. Must I? Oh, the smell. I think I'm gonna throw the whole slab in. If not, why not? Like a decadent. I'm just breaking it up. Guys, I hope you are enjoying the video that I'm making. I'm trying my best. 
but I also need to also have fun and I have lots of fun doing this look at that Wow Z gather that all together and then I'm gonna make little balls from this thing using my spoon I'll show you now okay get that together okay so I've cleared this up here and I've just put some lunch wrap on here and I'm just going to dab my hands with a little flour and get get this all together not a lot just on my make it easier to make the the balls so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take like just a tiny bit like that and roll it into a ball and put it on here and I'm gonna put this in the fridge eh? so it can just firm up a little bit and if it's not all the right sizes guys that's not a problem me eh? <laughs> let's do this again to my hands we are gonna eat it up I'll just continue with this and put it in the fridge so about for 15 to 20 minutes until it firms up and I'll be right back here we go. See that chocolate. Okay, so yeah, it's all rolled out. I switched on my oven already, and I must still put this in the fridge. So I'm going to switch off my oven and let this first firm up in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes, and I will be right back. We just switch off here. It's four piva. <laughs> And I'll be back. Okay, so I've taken out my um, biscuit dough just so five minutes after I switched on the oven. <laughs> so now it's nice and, and firm. Remember what I said? Leave it in the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. Let it just lick it lick a cold. And so five minutes before you take it out, you switch on your oven again to 180 degrees. So this is nice and firm. I'm going to pack it in my baking tray and then it's gonna go into the oven okay so now it's packed in my baking tray and this is gonna go in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes and I'll be right back and here they are nice chocolate chip Cookies. Mmm. Gonna break open one. Look at that. Oh my God. So this baked exactly for 15 minutes, and I let it cool down for about 10 minutes. And here's your chocolate chip cookie, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I had, and I hope you have a lick a lick a blessed week ahead. And I'll see you next time.